I'm going to look at what I wrote down in preparation to say to you so I don't miss anything. Um, and how about returners, people who have come back to Artists Like Me here? Yeah! You are the life of the place. So cool. And thank you to the volunteers, too, who are here. Yay, Olivia on the side. Yay, Olivia. Door, so if you take a couple of lefts, I heard, or no, wait, I've never been. <laughs> but I've heard, take a couple of lefts. And upstairs. Room. And there's one upstairs. Okay. Um, trust me. And then fundraising. This is a 501c3 nonprofit, Artists Like Me here. Um, and so we have a really awesome event that's happening right now. Chris is working. Can you tell us what it is? Heck yeah. So where can they find it? Gotta set the bar low. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear your grateful that she found this gift of songwriting and composing um, in your teens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
and so and that she is now again sharing this gift with the world more often because the kids are crying. So yeah. Okay, and this is Richard. Yay, Richard. And Richard is our funny guy. No, not really. I don't know where that happened. <laughs> this quote from the program about Richard. It says, she's been blessed with a unique voice compared to everybody from Eddie Vedder to James Taylor. For us, it's a mixture of John Prine and John Stewart, an excellent performer throughout, a poet's ear and economy of expression, a discreet spot for the telling of stories. Um, and that's from Roger Nichols at the Dallas Chronicle. Um, we'll see about that. I don't know about that. Thank you, Clara. Thank you, Clara. Thank you, Clara. Um, and I am a Portlander. My name's Clara. I'm a, you know, I grew up here, and I am a singer-songwriter. I am a um, after-school fun program, uh, school enrichment program. Yeah. Yeah, so um, for PPS over here at Buckland Elementary. Um, and I love singing songs to bring people together and to feel things collectively. Are people are locked in bathrooms? <laughs> 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 um, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, who wants to start? <laughs> <laughs> You're over there. I guess I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just Yeah, we okay. didn't decide that. All right. Let's give it up for Kirk. Yeah, so I just a little plug for the Portland Songwriters Association. Um, as Clara mentioned, I, I play bluegrass mostly uh, in a bluegrass band, Lost Creek. And, uh, and a number of years ago, I started writing songs, and somehow I found the Portland Songwriters Association. And that's been a pretty phenomenal group just to, to hang out with, write songs, and compare stuff. Um, so yeah, so props to those guys who uh, kind of sponsor this event. Mm -hmm. um, and this, this first song is, is uh, kind of a cautionary tale, if you will pretty common in bluegrass and uh, and old, old country music. It's called The Last Mistake. Short skirt, tall boots, blonde hair, black roots, ain't the last mistake she ever made. Small town, Nice home, sneaking out all alone. Ain't the last mistake she ever made. Annie was born on the good side of town. Thought that everybody was putting her down. She's a little too bold and a little too sassy. A little too brash and a little too trashy. Young man, trucker's hat, tight jeans. Imagine that. Ain't the last mistake she ever made. Trailer park, nightmare, if they drove off, no one cared. Ain't the last mistake she ever made. Dave's side of town was a little too rough. Nothing he did was ever good enough. He's got a beer in his lap and a pistol on the dash. A handful of pills and a pocket full of cash. Many mark, late night, lone clerk, short fight. Ain't the last mistake she ever made. She thought they'd be like Bonnie and Clyde. Take the cash and have a good ride. She was holding his gun when the cops arrived. They said to put it down and she failed to comply. Well, that's the last mistake she ever made. Well, that's the last mistake she ever made. I was just thinking how to how to uh, go with uh, after that. <laughs> 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 Last mistake. Uh, 
that was fantastic. Thank you for, for starting us off. Um, so I just want to thank Artichoke. I want to thank everyone um, for coming tonight. Um, I know it's you're, you're coming, you don't know who we are, and um, I'm just really um, thankful for our friends and bandmates who showed up and, and those of you who are here for the first time. So And for Artichoke for having us and hosting us. Thank you. Um, so yes, I'm so excited to be here. I, I don't get to play out all that much, and so I'm, I'm really thrilled to to do it tonight. And um, this first song talks, um, and I actually wrote it before the pandemic, but it was a perfect pandemic song uh, because it talks, uh, it was telling myself how, you know, you just feel really lonely sometimes. You're like, what? Why do I feel like this? Why can't I get up and go out? And it seems to be, uh, during the pandemic, it just kind of got more and more <laughs> prevalent. It's hard. It's hard to get out. I mean, this might be some of the first time y'all are doing something like this. Um, so I'm trying to do this more, and this is our, um, this is a song called Don't Be So Lonely. And one of my influences is also um, piano. Uh, piano fans as well, so you might get an idea of who this influenced by. Don't be so lonely. You sit at home and you stare at the screen, wondering what it means, wondering if there is someone as lonely as you. Yes, you do. You know it's true. Don't be so lonely. Get up off the couch and make a cup of tea. Or go outside, look at the sky. Same old job, the same old mess, the same old, <laughs> the same old every year. But seasons change as they do. Spring brings rain, flowers bloom. Don't be so lonely. You sit at home and you stare at the screen. Keep 
clapping, cleep capping. Keep, keep going, going them up. I gotta do it. <laughs> check Libby I was doing like all finger picking and this one's the only one with a pick so it's a little bit louder so wow wow that was great that was really great I'm really really impressed I'm like what am I <laughs> what, what this is really a uh, Portland is amazing I live out in the gorge and it's like you guys all seem to know each other I mean it, it's pretty this is a city right it's a city um but you guys are friendly and you know it's I'm pretty Um, that was really beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna 
Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to assume to your that, yeah. things there. I can just uh, slyly <laughs> suggest <laughs> that yes. I should maybe play a song. Um, yeah, I am so... Um, I feel like I get to rise to the occasion now. So thank you for giving me such beautiful songs that I got to listen to. And I'm going to... I'm on this. I'm on this stage with you. Here I go. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Right on. <laughs> Yahoo. And um, I know this song by heart, by heart, by heart. But my brain has been a little bit um, scattered the last couple days. So I'm just gonna put the words out because that makes me feel comfortable. Tell me about yeah. It, yeah. 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 Oh, that's so funny. This is the song that I only wrote the first verse to. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. That, I'll put that down there. Um, this song is for my brother, and he's sitting right there. <laughs> yeah. That sound okay? about I do when your back is turned and your eyes have burned a hole into the sky would you still call me true if you knew the reasons I duck and dive anyone who's ever tried why you Ever turn me loose Show me the back of your hat Dusty tracks, watch your back fade into blue Now I think you know Even what you don't And you don't mind All the times you've come to find me Up to no good As if you knew I would Yeah, you always knew I would are you to know me the new and old me all you do is show me something holy who are you to know me the new and old me all you do is hold me, you must be holy. You, you entertain the fool, and you're never cruel. You know all them things I said ain't true in me. I'm a paper tiger, these teeth won't sing, and you're on to me, but you never hold me back, you let my words crack, you lift the rug and I fetch the broom, who are you to know me, the new and old me? All you do is show me something holy. Who are you to know me, the new and old me? All you do is hold me, you must be holy. We, we are thick as thieves, like bark to a tree, always changing but never really leaves. Mm. 
<laughs> Sucks to be me. <laughs> have to go after that. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So uh, thanks again to Artichoke Music for hosting Portland Songwriters. Um, we uh, we have the showcase here once a month, and then we actually uh, have our monthly meetings here, which is uh, it's a great space to have this. Uh, and and if you don't know. Uh, Artichoke music is kind of a folk music icon here on the West Coast. Um, and, uh, oh, do you guys know the difference between folk music and bluegrass music? People like folk music. Um, yeah. So in, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. In, uh, in, uh, in folk music, the environment is kind of a common theme that comes out, you know, this dates back to Woody Guthrie and, Pete Seeger and beyond that even. Um, and so this is a song that's about climate change, but it's a, from the perspective of someone that doesn't really care about climate change. Not a great perspective, but anyway, we'll st <laughs> th this wasn't me. This is you know not, not my views and not those of Artichoke Music, LLC. Um, don't complain, yeah. Um, but we'll see how this turns out. New Orleans sees the northern lights glow Key West is digging out from the snow It don't rain in Oregon anymore Those Californians are moving in But that's okay There's an upside anyway I'll be tan all year round when there's no snow on the ground and I don't care no one said that life is fair I'll just take care of mine and I know that we'll be fine the penguins think something's amiss the polar bears are restless and pissed a shark swam up river in Kansas now those Californians are on the move again but that's okay and there's an upside anyway I'll be tan all year round when there's no snow on the ground and I don't care no one said that life is fair I'll just take care of mine and I know that we'll be fine the Weather Channel's busy as can be. Cautionary tale, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, such a great group. That's been fun so far. Um, so the next song is one that I wrote. Uh, there are sometimes when you're in relationships and uh, it seems to be a more of a mystery than you would like it to be. And so um, this song is called More Magic Than Mystery. So it it asks for, there's just sometimes uh, you recognize that you would like to have a little more transparency in your relationship and a little more answers. And, and sometimes I compare it to Alice in Wonderland. And so that's, that's where this is kind of comes together. More magic than mystery. <coughs> In Wonderland, a world spinning out of hand. It's like chasing rabbits to tea. 
She's looking for Houdini to clear up her mysteries, escape from the cage and set her free. Cause she needs more magic than mystery. That's the key. Alice, she took her stand, shook off the reprimand, opened that door, and is free.
Yeah. <clears throat> you said you felt like you were in a play. It's like, um, you getting this guitar? Um, it does feel like, kind of like you're in a play up here. I mean, I get, it's very interesting. I mean, sitting around with everybody. You know. I have. Um, you should be getting it there. What's that? Should be getting it. That's mute. Um. It should be there. You're not getting anything yet? It's A right there. Um, okay. You got to figure this out. It's just that it, I didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, Olivia. Wow. Whoa. Well, okay, let's just all just take a little breath there. Oh, a little breath, and it's like playing volleyball when the ball rolls off the court. You take a swig of your beer. Okay, so anyway, I was getting nervous there. I feel like playing like a rock and roll song now, but I got kind of like this is a quiet one too. Bad. Anyway, um, uh, you'll hear kind of like a little bit of a, like a journey from me tonight. It's like... um the wild and sordid youth and, and um, growing up and then getting married and then having a child. And this song is called Is Your Love Enough? And it came along right about the time the first child started coming along. Like, is your love enough or can you love a little bit more? And, uh, so, uh, there's this author named Chris Offit, I believe. He wrote the same river twice. And he said his childhood not exactly wasted but squandered to a certain de degree. traveling around. Then I got married and uh, my wife plays the cello. She's normally here so envision a cello with this song. Wow, she's getting applause and she's not even here. Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Or can you love some more? Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Love enough, or can you love a little more? The house is a wreck. I want to clean it up for you. But I caught up on my sleep this morning. Now playing guitar is all it seems I can do. Dog comes out of his resting place, cleans the kitchen floor with his tongue. Our little boy. Runs through the uncut grass, singing under the blazing sun. Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Or can you love some more? Is your love enough? Hey, hey you love enough? Oh, you love enough? Or can you love some more? Sat down this morning at the breakfast table. Wrote a letter to my father, best I was able. So many things I can't describe to him. I'm hypnotized by government lies. Your patient eyes see me to the end again. But is your love enough? Is your love enough? Is your love enough, or can you love some more? Is your love enough? Hey, hey you love enough? Oh, oh, you love enough, or can you love some more? Mm -hmm. This is the cello part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except way better. <laughs> 
You are a spring birds drink from You are stoic as a stone wall Your eyes are quiet and Irish You say your dreams are small You are bright as Venus What you say is true I am the wind Open your door to But is your love enough? Is your love enough? Is your love enough? Or can you love some more? Is your love enough? Hey, you love enough? Oh, you love it enough? Played indoors all day Too hot go outside hiding from the world one day murder and suicide little boy tugs at my sleeve I say not now I'm listening to the breeze for the holy words God will send to me is your love enough is your love enough? Is your love enough? Or can you love some more? Is your love enough? Hey, hey, you love enough? Oh, you love enough? Or can you love some that you described that trajectory or that storyline, that story arc that you're taking us on. I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you do, though. Yeah, actually, I was going to, s the first song I was going to sing is for a friend whose birthday it is tonight, but I don't think she's in the house yet, so I'm stalling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so in that to that when... <laughs> Um, yeah, the collection of songs, um, or like what I've decided that maybe these songs that I've written recently are called is, um, Imagine Conversations, and a lot of my inspiration for songwriting comes from cool stuff that my friends say, or, uh, you know, people that I love are talking about, and it gets sticky, and then it turns into a further conversation that I didn't actually have or maybe we sort of had it but it's like this really cool way of actualizing a feeling that was passing through um, so this one is called The Seeker <coughs> and and it's a bop <laughs> um and it's about, well, you'll just hear what it's about, but it's about a um, <laughs> that feeling when, uh, like, saudade is the word in Spanish, or um, where you're, like, longing for something. It's like this melancholy or nostalgia for what you haven't yet had. Um, so you're just like, a little bit about that. <laughs> No, it's okay. I'm really not going to read it. It's just my, like, teddy bear, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take one more sip of water and cheers you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Okay, and this one's called The Seeker. Mm. Was it bugging you that my guitar is out of tune? You didn't even notice? No, I didn't. Cool, 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 cool.
lopsided I might have made it this way All nighter I'm frightened that I'll stay In this messy middle Endlessly unsettled My hands found a truer way to say I'll reach you and I have long gone away I'll go before I'm ready Only change is steady Bon voyage to the seeker Along a river winding God help the seeker who finally finds Bon voyage to the seeker along a river winding God help the seeker when he finally finds Restless, I'm poised to take a leap Breathless, the road I chose is steep Stung with time and nettle Medicine is bitter Far and voyage to the seeker Along a river winding God help the seeker who finally finds Oh, bon voyage to the seeker God help the seeker who finally finds Losing sleep over feeling too deep about what I haven't found Aching and smiling, waiting to find what you can't see with feet on the ground Losing sleep over feeling too deep about what I haven't found Aching and smiling, waiting to find what you can't see with feet on the ground Oh, bon voyage to the seeker along a river winding. God help the seeker who finally finds. Oh, bon voyage to the seeker. God help the seeker when he finally finds. Okay, uh, so we've gone around two times each. Hey, there was a rule. <laughs> it's trash night. It's trash night. Woo! <clears throat> um, so we've gone around twice now, each of us. have played two songs. How many songs are we doing tonight? What do you got time for? Yeah, 15 each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five or six. Should we do, yeah, it's like, yeah, we're halvesies right now in terms of time. We should take a break and sell some beer. Let's sell some beer. Everybody visit our friend Christopher at the bar. I want to get, get in line first. Is that possible? Yeah, everybody hold. <laughs> Big round of applause for everybody playing.
Amazing. Okay. Feel ready? Yeah, totally. Ready to So good with the singing tonight, um, or at least everybody else up here. And um, and I was like, what's what's wrong with my microphone? But then now it's the same as everybody else's. Oh, it's, stop it's, it. it's not the microphone. You're doing great. We love to hear it. You don't sound like an animal at all. It's a good howl. No, no animal being. Right, we'll we thanks. like it. We want more of it. Well, this is a song actually I, I wrote for my daughter uh, when she was little. And uh, she's headed off to college next year, so. But it still kind of fits, I think. Uh, the next song I decided to do is um, one that I wrote after my parents both passed, and it was really hard time. And um, and yet there was this um, 
everybody knows morning has broken uh, tune, but there was something that kind of changed in me when all of a sudden things, there was a silver lining that other folks were able to help me find. So that um, grieving in community was really helpful. Um, but this is really kind of that making it through. And it's called silver, silver lining. And at the end of it, um, I have some folks planted in the audience, but uh, if you'd like to sing, it, there's kind of a, I'll start um, one part and then I'll kind of move into a next part. When you can, if you, if you hear a part you want to start singing, go for it, um, because I'd love to have, have you all sing at the end here, if you'd like to do that. <coughs> I wonder if I should teach it first, but <laughs> should, I, should I teach it? Or? Okay, so the, ver the very end goes, um, Help me find a silver lining through the gray light that shining. So that's the first part. Help me find a silver lining through the gray light that shining. Help me find a silver lining through the gray light that shining. And now I have a chorus. This is awesome. Okay. Green on the hillsides, bathed in sunlight. Step out of darkness, my heart it takes flight. For morning has broken. I leave behind the night and stumble into.
You're the best audience ever. Can I take you with me? Wow. Whoa. Okay, Olivia, are you picking up the guitar? Should be really loud. <laughs> are you getting it? Oh, come on. No, I'm just... uh, oh. I, I need to bring this guitar in here and get it set up. I haven't had that in a long time. Sorry, I'm sorry. I really did have it on that time. Wow, that was really great, Joe. <laughs> so I live out in White Salmon, Washington, uh, across the, the river from Hood River, Oregon. Wow. You're all clapping for White Salmon or Hood River? Because, oh, that's really good to know. That's really good. really good to know. So anyway, as you know, there's an infamous toll bridge. And so in this song, there's a toll bridge mentioned toward the end. Listen for it, maybe. Um, I better get on my horse here. I just want to keep playing like song after song. It's really strange to play two songs in a set. It's great. No, that, that's, it, it, but it's, no well, yeah, I think I should play about eight. And then y'all, no, I'm just joking. No, no, no. I think it's great this way. Perfect. Absolutely. I didn't mean, I wasn't. No, 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 no. I'm using all my, let me, really briefly, this song is called Orion the Hunter. No, <laughs> um, I think it's a great idea, but we can't do it now. It's great. Anyway, this song is um, written from the point of view. Um, um, we look at Orion, the stars in the constellation make Orion the hunter, the belt, the shoulders, and the things. And uh, what if we were looking at Orion from a different planet, from a different part of the universe, right? So what would the stars look like? <clears throat> would they would they be anything? Are there constellations if you're from a different planet? Or um, so it has to do with the relationship, you know. And and this is part of the earlier sorted early traveling life. So it's called Orion the Hunter. Let's just see what happens. I haven't played it for a while, but I thought I never mind. Warmest night of the winter. In the ferns I lie As Orion the hunter Slips quietly by And from some other viewpoint His shoulders are leaves in the jungle And the dipper is a sailboat That rides the wild seas as they tumble and I am your man and you are my girl From some other viewpoint Some other world And when you take the ring off You're not wearing it anymore And if you leave in the winter Remember to close the door And you said you were coming But you never did show And I was thinking about leaving But I never did go I'm just stuck here in my shack High on the mountainside the snow is 15 feet deep And the river is wide ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 And the wind is raging the fire is out of control And I'd cross the bridge back to you But I'm tired of paying the toll Warmest night of the winter In the ferns I lie As Orion the hunter Slips quietly by 
from some other viewpoint His shoulders are leaves in the jungle And the dipper is a sailboat That rides the wild seas as they tumble And I am your man You are my girl From some other viewpoint some other world from some other viewpoint some other world thank you can we table that conversation for later sure can we talk about the viewpoints of the stars and the if you're on a different planet. Ooh, yeah, right. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel like I have the answer now. What wow. it, like, it's a jungle over there where it's a shoulder over here. But I would I would like I'll to hear about, about that about for sure. Yeah. I'm we'll keep talking about it. taking my percussion person off and on top of my shoe. <laughs> huh. Wow. Okie dokie. Um, I'm really stalling for the birthday girl. Everybody, like, really... Huh. Make sure they get the check <coughs> right now. They're at dinner. They got to get the check and show up before it comes around again. Okay, so that's my last song. You're in your own living room back there. Very um, nice. <coughs> excuse me. Um, this is a song that I wrote recently. The most recently of the ones we've heard so far, which is exciting, <laughs> and it's very simple, and it came to me in one big um, blur, and um, there was <laughs> it was a blur, and there was very little refining after that. <laughs> it was just, that's, oh, that's what it is, okay. Um, and it's kind of like this zoom out, zoom in um, of these little things that we want to be or do in our lives and what we think is important and um, how we want to show up in the world while we're alive. Um, and it's just a little bit about that. Something obvious and easy. Oh, hello. I just do that again. Something obvious and easy. There it is. <laughs> Matt was looking so worried for me right there. It's okay, I got it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Well, I want to do something obvious and easy. Work is a breeze and I'm done with the day. I want to do something important to community. Inspire more unity and help make love stay. I'm tired, I'm tired, and you're not surprised. We're entirely wired, it's all by design. I want to do anything hard but worth it, heal someone's hurting or break and repair. I want to do conflict gracefully, bravely, completely dismay me, teach me I'm wrong. Cease fire, cease fire, let life be alive. You are blowing apart, kids born to be learned from. I want 
want to live clearly, take time yearly, sit in reflection and celebrate change. I want to live truthfully, contact my youth me, call her up, invite her in, and ask her to play. Cause I'm fire, I'm fire, and you'll catch a light. Take a long drag of it, sip on my wine. We want to be fire, let us get warmer, let us come closer, let life be alive. want to be fire let us get warmer let us come closer let life be alive great um so we have acknowledged artichoke music and portland songwriters and the sound folks and the bartender and everybody else but i want to thank the audience for coming out tonight by the way um this is way more fun with you guys here so thank you for supporting live music in all of its varied forms um and that too and the internet yeah yeah thanks thanks for coming on the internet so, so, uh, so years ago, my, my, my wife said she wanted a, a karaoke machine for Christmas. And uh, against my better judgment, I bought her a karaoke machine for Christmas. And then Christmas morning, she, she said she didn't want a karaoke machine. Yeah, so then I was, um, I was at Best Buy after Christmas and standing in line returning the karaoke machine. And... Uh, and this guy walked through the door and he looked like Jesus. And I'm not saying like the skies parted and the angels sang or anything, but the dude looked like Jesus. And I was like, whoa, Jesus walked into Best Buy. <laughs> and that's the first line of this song. And, uh, and there's songwriters on this stage and there's songwriters in this audience that, that know that sometimes something just jumps on you and you, you can't stop until you're, you're done. So. <laughs> All this uh, talking, talking Christmas blues.
I was just waiting for the ending. That was uh, perfect ending. Um, <coughs> so I don't know if any of you have ever watched or seen the Tom Stoppard film and play. Um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. If you haven't, you should because it's amazing. But there's a scene in there where Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, you don't know which is which, um, is flipping a coin and it kept keeps coming up heads. And that's when they kind of realize something's amiss. And um, I just, I, I loved this idea of um, love perhaps being a um, uh, matter of fate or, or is it actually God who just kind of, is, is, is God intervening in our love life or is it fate or is it, what is it? And, um, and so this is a little bit about missing it. This is called Matters of the Heart.
folks are in different land, transported to a different place. You getting that one, Olivia? Sorry. Same signal, it's the same thing. I think you could tell. No, I can just tell it's right there. You gotta crank it way up. No, I'm just Okay, this is a guitar that I don't break out a lot. <laughs> But I brought it, so it's like when you go camping, you gotta bring, you gotta use everything in your backpack at least once. So I brought it. There's so many stories to tell and so many things to do, but not a lot of time right now. Anyway, um, Richard Tillinghast, I do have some CDs for sale back there if you wanna get one. Throw some money next to the CDs, we'll pick it up. Um, The song is about uh, basically just sitting with the kids outside on a grassy lawn and seeing my wife come walking out the door in the new life, not the sordid old life. So um, it's called To See My Girl. To see my girl walking up to me through the wind and the blowing leaves to see my girl walking up to me she got her gray skirt on and a little shoe she's looking at me smiling too Brother, everything she says is true. Brother, I'd like to call, maybe meet in Arkansas and talk about everything we ever saw. But heaven. Don't take my calls out on the swing I never talk too much to anyone but her but I'll tell you everything and you'd understand and with me you would sing to see my girl walking up to me through the wind and in memory to see my girl walking up to me to see my girl walking up to me Maybe that's the after thing. We just like stick around and 
Yeah, I want to become life. more a part of Portland. I'm from the Gorge, and I'm You're telling uh, Bonnie and Arlie, and thanks to Arlie Connor. Sorry to yes, interrupt. No thank you to Arlie, to, to Arlie Connor. Is Arlie still here? Oh, Arlie? thank God. Thank God. So I wrote, I'm sorry, I'm, you're up, Do but it. I just, I yeah. was like, I need to go play in Portland. And Arlie, I just t talked to him and he's like, come sign, do this thing tonight. And I'm like, well, that was great. I mean, that was really nice. And thank you, Arlie, for having yeah. us. And yeah, Portland, uh, being more here is what I want to do. Yeah, come on back. <laughs> yeah, for Arlie. Thank you, Arlie. Yeah, Arlie is a really nice fella I met this evening, um, who is the, he's the, he's our host. Um, it's, it's, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently I'm the host. <laughs> Surprise. Um, but Arlie is such a um, generous human for the, sing the Songwriters Association itself. He's the, he's the guy. I wish I knew his title. I'm trying. I'm stalling, trying to figure out what it was. Yeah, he's the dude. He's the dude with Songwriters Association, and we love that. Thank you, Arlie. Yeah. yeah thanks, Arlie. Okay, so birthday girl had a really good dinner, it seems, which is so great. And I'm gonna sing her song anyway. Is this a story that you've been like? You, is, this <laughs> is it a is bit? This a story? It's a is bit. It just a bit. The birthday yeah. girl. I yeah. don't think she really exists. She doesn't right? exist. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be offensive to her when she watches this later. She totally exists. Um. Her name is Catherine, and. I love her. She is so great, and she inspired this song. Um, with all the cool, brilliant stuff she said to me while we were riding our bikes across the country a couple years ago. Um, and it's called Change is Hard. <laughs> yeah. I think it's this first capo. Happy birthday, love you. Um, Jane is going to play first. So glad I looked because it's capo three. It's capo three. Yay. Write things down. Alrighty. Hmm. Do I sound um, like I'm. You can hear it? Okay. Closer. Come on in. Come on in. How about that? There it is. Hey, hot mic. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh.
My brother brings me stacks of my old books. No, he gave them away without asking. <laughs> and all these paintings just waiting for their hooks. Now it's the change that's hard, always changing. They say if you build it, then they will come. If I build myself a house, will I come home? Oh, it's the change. Always changing. Don't look at me while I am changing No, I'm not there yet Don't you peek at what you're getting Don't look at me I'm still changing Pretty soon I'll be fine I think I just need more time. She asked, is it cry day or is it a dry day? So I let her in when my birthday's going sideways. Oh, it's the change that's hard. And honey, you're always changing. Don't look at me while I am changing. Yeah, pretty soon I'll be fine. I think I just need more time. Don't look at me while I am changing. No, I'm not there yet. Please don't peek at what you'll get. Yeah, pretty soon I'll be fine. I think I just need more time. You know what? It's 9.05. Oh. <laughs> um, well, that's my last song, but if you guys want to play one more each. Oh, oh yep, that's it. <laughs> Show's over, folks. <laughs>